Good day, Sir Blasphemy here for Sir Blasphemy's Travels. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the videos that are coming at you. As you can see, I'm just kind of sitting around at the house once again. And uh, wanted to do this video because I asked you guys in my uh, community section of YouTube if I should uh, do a video describing my experience at the... Uh, what is it the campgrounds of uh new haven or whatever or fair market or whatever the hell it's called at the texas renaissance festival anyway it's the campgrounds out there at the texas renaissance festival and it's the more wilder ones and uh so i had never been out to those uh uh fairgrounds or the campgrounds sorry i keep saying fairgrounds but those campgrounds and even though i've been vending there for years you just don't really ever get a chance and uh so i proposed the question Hey, should I go out and check one out? You guys said I should. 100% of you guys said I should. And, uh, you know, and then tell you about the experience I had. And so I did do what you guys uh, uh, requested of me. And I do want to share my experience out there and uh, kind of tell you about it. So let me rewind this back, though, for some of you. So if some of you don't know what it's like to camp... Um, at the Texas Renaissance Festival, maybe you guys attend other fairs around the country and you really don't have this, this um, type of camping situation like you have at the Texas Renaissance Festival in Houston. Um, let me tell you something, um, it, is, it, it is extremely original and I will say it is very wild, wild west. It's, it's, I've heard of things happening out there, I've seen videos and such and people are like, oh yeah, that was out at, you know, TRF and I'm like nah surely that you know that wasn't allowed to go on but yeah you know it is not that it's anything bad it's just that it's definitely pushing the lines which is right up my alley anyway but um anyway so if you guys don't know it's just basically I mean TRF is one of the largest if not the largest I know it's that one or it's uh Bristol is the largest renaissance fair in the country and the camping out there is just massive. And you've got it separated in many different ways. You you have like quiet camping and family camping. And then you have like the wild camping, which consumes most of the, the campgrounds. And so <coughs> I'd always heard a lot of uh, stories and things like that that went on out there. And I know that there's been some bad incidents that have happened, but... When you have basically like something the size of a small city, a population sitting out there, a small town or city, you're sometimes going to get those small town and city kind of, you know, avenues that kind of creep in. So you get some bad people from time to time. But for the most part, it's good people having a good time, having a blast. And, and I was, you know, curious after all the years that I have done these festivals, I never go out because I work all day and then I have to be up the next day so early that you know you just can't really you know take time to go do that as a vendor you just can't do it um you'll be exhausted all the time and you won't get a lot done <laughs> and so you got to be sharp you know and you you work long days on your feet so i just never took up the option to do it and uh and one day i was given a ride to one of the uh uh to this guy that works um as a works with the one of the vendors out there one of the mead vendors and i was giving him a ride out into the parking lot as i was leaving and he was like man you should come out he's like there's all kinds of stuff you know you need to see you know and, and check this out and i was like yeah you know maybe i'll do it and a couple of weeks later you know it gave me the idea i proposed the question to you guys you guys said yeah do it we'd like to hear about it and then I told him, I said, yeah, I want to check it out and see what it's all about. So this was my experience at the, uh, at the campgrounds of, uh, what is it called? What, what is it? Fair Market Campgrounds. Uh, you guys correct me out there. I forgot what it's called. See, I only work at TRF. I don't uh, camp out there. <laughs> Isn't that terrible that I don't know that stuff? But anyway, so this was my experience there at the, uh, the campgrounds, uh, the more wilder campgrounds at TRF. So... All right, my first time ever going out there and experiencing it. So let me just say this though, since I was in a metal band and I was in a band for a lot of years when I was younger, there was a bunch of wild stuff that I saw. So you can't really pull anything too crazy on me because I've either seen it or participated in it at one point or another in my lifetime. So what I saw though out at TRF definitely raised both eyebrows 
but uh, it wasn't anything that that if 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 you haven't seen the things that I've seen, you know, then it would have been it would have been mind blowing, you know, if if you weren't used to that, if you're a vanilla person, because it was. I mean, if if I could step aside, given what I haven't seen, and if I could just experience that for the first time without having my other experiences in life that I the things I got to see and do and whatever and partake in. That would have been pretty crazy as far as crazy goes and it, and it and like crazy good like crazy good fun and so Being in a band kind of spoiled me to the um, When I was young to the wilder things in life and seeing things that most people don't get to see and Doing the things that most people just talk about doing, you know, I was there. I did those things so Nothing was gonna blow my mind, but but it got close you know, for TRF. So anyway, let me share the experience. So I had never seen the bonfire. I had, you know, heard about it. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to talk to some other vendors and we're going to pick, you know, a day and we're going to go out there for a couple hours and see what it's all about. And so me and some other workers from another who had never been out there either. We always work and leave. Like I said, we always work and leave. And they're like, okay, we're going to get together and we're going to go out there. We're going to check it out. We got like a map because we didn't know the areas, you know, and we went to go, you know, check out where like the clans and stuff are at and all that stuff. And, and man, I got to say, the first thing I got to say is it's absolutely well done for the people that go out there and do it in the louder side of the camp and the kind of the party side of the camping areas. I mean, it is absolutely well done, very well organized. Um, I mean, music playing, jamming, and like, all kinds of like different, you know, you, you could go into different areas, different tents, areas just laid out that I had no idea where bars are set up and, and I mean, in tents and stuff and people dancing and, you know, I mean, it was, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. I thought it was going to be more like just a bunch of people in camping areas jamming some music, you know, and you got your little camping areas, maybe a bigger tent here and there. I wasn't expecting how vast and big some of these tents and stuff were. And the fact that you can go out to the campgrounds, you can get, you know, mead, you can get food, you can get all kinds of stuff going out there. Um, and that most people, you know, have booze and stuff out there already. And then there's even like little bars where you can get shots and stuff. I mean, that these are just individual campers. And so I, I thought it was really well done. And I thought it was pretty well organized for the most part. And the fact that you could just kind of walk along and the maps kind of explained everything. And I mean, and, and I mean, it's just total partying going on. I mean, that's it. You know, it, it's to, it, it reminds me of being backstage back in the day of my metal band, how organized we had party stuff going on. We had sections of things and there was all this going on here and then this stuff going on here and then this stuff going on here or whatever the case may be. It was like that there, you know, so if you haven't ever participated in this, first of all, let me just warn you first and foremost, you're going to see naked people. You're going to see some things that you may not necessarily agree with if you're on the vanilla side of life. Um, you definitely are going to be prepared to walk. You got to walk. There's a lot of walking to it and a lot of, you know, spaces in between and a lot of things going on. And you want to do your best to check it all out if you can. But I can just tell you, even in a whole weekend, I couldn't see everything that was going on in the, the wild side of the camp. There's just a lot going on. And so... What we ended up doing is we went to the bonfires. I was saying a minute ago, we went to the bonfire, kind of checked that out. That was kind of, you know, cool, you know, chill vibe. You know, people out there beating drums and stuff like that, singing whatever around the fire. I thought that was cool. And then there was like a stage where like a live band was playing, which was, you know, kind of rock and roll, which was cool. And a lot of people watching that. And then once you got around like the stage, then there's, you know, the camping areas. And, and you could just listen to the music and look at your map and you could kind of follow you know, okay, this is where I want to go. And so I was following some workers that were there and they took me out to the tent, for those of you that have been out there, that have the crosses huh, where people get naked and get flogged, right? So that is absolutely 100% real. So if you've heard those stories out there, they are true. They are true. I saw it myself, it's 100% true. Um, so we go into this area and inside of this one big white tent, a good white tent, and they were also selling like flogging stuff and stuff like that in there. Um, there was, you know, a couple of naked ladies bent over on the little cross thing holding on. There was a guy 
you know, spanking that ass, you know, I mean, the best way to put it. And some people from the crowd would go up there and get done and, 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 you know, strip down to their underwear or get naked, whatever. And there would be a flogging for, you know, you know, the place to see. And, and it's not like you're doing it in front of five or 10 people. There was at least in this tent at one time, probably 150, 200 people packed into this big tent that were watching this go on and, 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 you know, and people just having fun, letting loose, relaxing and everything like that. It was, so it was really cool. Um, I would suggest to bring your own alcohol. Um, you're not going to always get that out there. So definitely make sure you have your own alcohol or your own beverages or, or even your own food or whatever, um, you know, to take with you. So that way, because you can get caught up really quick. I know I did. I was only going to be there a couple hours and it lasted all night long pretty much. And so that was one of the tents. And so then that, so we were in there for a little while and then one of the workers from other, the other vendors that I know was like, Hey, let's go to this one. There's like a, like a rave atmosphere at this one. And there's like a shop bar and things like that. And I was like, okay. So we went in and sure enough, man, we're in this, all of a sudden we walk in and I mean, there's people with the, like the neon lights. And I mean, and it is just packed in there. And I couldn't believe, I was like, man, I can't believe how many people are in this one tent, like this big ass tent. And uh, so once I kind of got through the people, I saw a couple of people I knew and said hello to them. And then like, um, once I got to the back, there was like a little shot bar where there was like a wheel that you could like, you know, roll the wheel and you had to moon the bar for like a shot. You didn't pay for shots. You had to do like certain things. So like, like you could get a lap dance or you could give somebody a lap dance or, or whatever the case was, what was on there, or you got a free shot, you know, what, however it worked. And so you would spin the wheel and you would do what the wheel told you and then you would get your shot. And so if you're not ready to kind of be put on the spot, you know, or, or anything like that, you're more of a, you know, introvert, then that's probably not the area for you. There was a ton of people. Um, there was, um, you know, you got to do some acts, you know, I mean, I got a couple of, you know, lap dances and then I had to do a lap dance or two to get a shot, you know, and it was all in the spirit of good fun. And I even had to moon the bar, which I did do. And uh, so it's definitely for the extrovert in you and it's for the extrovert in general. If you're an introvert, this definitely isn't for you. Um, you wouldn't probably enjoy this. Um, but, you know, that was one of the things. Um, then we went around, Jesus, man, th there were some other things too, but it was all along those lines. It was in the lines of good spirits, good fun. I mean, people were dressed up. People were in cosplay. Um, I will say this, um, just as much as the guys get a bad rap for being a little loosey-goosey with the hands, and shame on you if you do it out there without people's permission, without ladies' permission or guys' permission, whatever. Um, ladies, you are too. You guys are too. I had some hands put on me while I was out there that I didn't request, which was fine with me, but, but still, I'm just saying. So to experience that vibe, luckily, again, I was in a band, and I kind of dealt with that before in the past, but... Uh, you know, so it's nothing new for me and nothing was shocking for me, but I, there was definitely some friendly ladies out there. I'll just put it that way, okay? And uh, yeah, and so I think basically in a nutshell, so that my experience was very good. Naked people, um, I had a beer in my hand, I was fine, did some shots, you know. It's definitely for the extrovert in you, it's not for the introvert. Um, um, even though some introverts might find it fun, I mean, you know, that's up to you, but Really, you have to be prepared to, to walk around, see things that you're not used to seeing. So you don't want to bring kids to this for sure. You know, if you have a family, that's not the place to go to. I'm just telling you. And the rumors and the videos and the things that you see, they are absolutely true. Absolutely true. I saw with my own eyes what were things were described in videos. And I was like, really, that goes on out there? And sure enough, yes, there are things going on out there. Yes, people do have public displays of sex out there. I'm just telling you, yes, people get nude out there. Yes, that's out there all the time. I saw it myself, it was out there. So I'm assuming that this happens constantly. So, and I mean, it's all it's all in good fun though. It's all in good good spirits and, and, and good times, you know. So, you know, you just, if you're not really ready for that kind of a lifestyle or that kind of a, an experience, then you, you stick to the other areas of the camp, even though that this area basically overwhelms almost the entire, you know, camping thing. But, but still, there's quieter sections and there's, there's easier going areas that you can go camp at if you camp at the Texas Renaissance Festival. So I'm just telling you, if I had to go camping anywhere on the planet, that's the way to do it.
I'm sorry, that's the way to do it. It's right up my alley. I like getting a little wild and crazy. I like doing, having some fun. I like, you know, being up, being a night owl, you know, on times when I don't have to work. The only thing that sucked is the next day I was so exhausted because I didn't get back to like four o'clock before I even got to sleep because I didn't realize I was having so much fun and the time just blew by. And as soon as I locked up and got with all the vendors, we got out there at like 8.30, 9 o'clock and uh, the fireworks were going off at TRF. And the next thing I know, it was like four in the morning. I was like, oh my God, dude, I got to get back. I, you know, I got to be working in about three hours. So the next day sucked, but you know, plan accordingly. You know, if you're just out there to experience it and have a good time, you're not working out there, then don't worry about it. Just be tired for the day and, you know, and all that. But if you got to work and stuff, plan accordingly um, or take a day off, whatever the case may be, you know, ask for the day off. But uh, otherwise, guys, that was my experience. I know it's not anything too exciting, but I wanted to share that. You guys asked that of me and I wanted to share it. Yes, I saw nude people. Yes, I mooned a bar. Yes, I got lap dances from females. Yes, I got felt up and groped by females. Yes, that happened. And so uh, that can happen to you out there. I'm just saying, but, you know, be respectful, be polite, you know, and just remember it's in good spirits and have fun and, and, and know your limits and all that good stuff. And you'll have a wonderful time if you've never been to the Texas Renaissance Festival in the wild camping, crazy camping area. You'll have a wonderful time there, and it'll be something you'll remember for a long time, and you'll look forward to going to do again. If you have that wild itch in you, I know I do, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So anyway, that was my experience, guys, at the, at the camping, the wild camping section at the Texas Renaissance Festival. So my first time ever, and uh, even though I've been there for years, you know, working and all that good stuff, so... You know, we like I said, when you work there, you just don't get to see that. So maybe the next time I go, maybe some of you guys can we can all get together and we can you know plan a plan an evening and uh, maybe I'll let the worker do the working and I'll just go out and hang out with you guys and we'll have a blast out there. So we can always talk about that in the comment section and put a plan together. Just let me know. I'm willing to meet you guys out there and we can have a blast and have a good time and uh, go hang out. And so uh, and if you got you know you're you're new or whatever to it, you want to do your first time with maybe somebody who's been there. Come along with it. Um, absolutely, we can plan that all together. Why not, right? We're, we're in this world to have some fun, so have some fun. So anyway, that's it, guys. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I gotta get going. I've had a long day today. I've been making some music, which I'm gonna show on YouTube very soon, too. And uh, I gotta get back to doing some things. So anyway, I wanted to make sure I got a video and tell you about my experience in the campgrounds at the Texas Renaissance Festival. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to share your experiences in the comment section. I would love to hear it and I would love to reply to it. And you know I will. So anyway, please like, subscribe, tickle that bell for future notifications from me. And like I said, comment because I definitely want you guys to comment on this one. I'd love to hear about your experiences and I always comment back 100% of the time. So, all right guys. Rock and roll, man. Until next time, Sir Blasphemy, out.